Hi, I'm MDG and welcome to my channel where I waste my wild cards on meme decks so you don't have to. And today I'm doing a deck that's kind of a dedication to, if you haven't heard the news, um, my heckin' fiance. I proposed to her over the weekend and her favorite Lord of the Rings character is Gladrail, so I guess I just wanted to do this as maybe a dorky tribute slash thank you to her because she also has helped me so much in this YouTube channel. She does all the thumbnails and some editing around for like the commander gameplay and all the shenanigans for that. So I just heckin' love and appreciate her so much. So I guess this is low-key a dedication to her and also kind of a celebration. And I'm sorry if that was cheesy and nerdy. So uh, let's go check out the necklace and I'll see you in a second. <laughs> Before jumping into the gameplay, I just wanted to shout out my Patreon. So at the Tree Folk level, thank you, LOL Copter. And over at the Sapperling, my goodness, this list is growing. Thank you. We have Ishtari, Brendan Such, JS, Jolly Good J, Sasser, Queen B, Vinny Chase, Ye Gutierrez, and Tanade Muhammad. Thank you all so much for your heckin' support. All right, here is our commander. We're rocking Gladriel of Lothorian. Sorry, I know I botched that really bad. 3 CMC, and whenever the ring tempts you, if you choose a creature other than Gladriel as your ring bearer, scry 3, and whenever you scry, you may reveal the top card of your library if it's a land card, revealed this way, put onto the battlefield tap, so potential to ramp quite a bit. It kind of made me think of uh, the Smeagol's trigger with like the ring bearer, except we're not taking stuff from our opponent's library to ramp. And with this, I didn't really focus too much on ring bearer stuff, I was like a little bit more into like the scry abilities and things that cared about scrying a bit more and there's some cool synergies that came out of that so as far as things that are from like the new lord of the rings set that help us with scrying we have elven farsight we have fall of gilglad i think that's how you pronounce it and then arwen's gift which is a really cool card and a few other things in here that are like some fun instants that care about scrying as well and then for the other cards that can help us with scry synergies, we have Arwen. Whenever you scry, put a plus one plus one counter on target. And then we have other things. Again, that's just like it if you're scrying, which makes sense for this deck. The card that has probably the most synergy with their commander that was really cool is Celeborn the Wise because whenever you attack with one or more elves, scry one. And whenever you scry, they get plus one plus one until in a turn for each card looked at while scrying this way. So good stuff. And overall, this is like kind of a Simic deck that wants to ramp a lot. And then we want to get plus one plus one counters on our squishies to make them tough. And then maybe win with the Crater Hoof Behemoth closeout, which might feel a bit tired of a win con, but it works really well with Elf Ball and Historic Brawl is tough these days, friends. And because we're kind of a glass cannon deck, it's important to have some protection. So I put in some like counter spells to help with that. And then like Veil of Summer to kind of help with keeping our stuff from being countered and honks proofing things. And then Heroic Intervention to again try to live through some board wipes. Obviously X-File effects are going to be a sad time. So yeah, that's the deck overall. I'm really excited to show you how it does. So I will see you out there. All right, we have Joda. This is not going to be fun. Probably going to kick our butt. Hopefully I'm not going to be greedy keeping this hand, but I want to keep it. Tireless and growing rights can be absolutely crazy for mana. Ooh, and we hit Elvish Mystic. Let's do Elvish Mystic first, actually. And then we can actually shock in this, get Tireless Provisioner in. Hope life is good. Okay, let's do it. A3 life, put you in. Heck yeah. I mean, we have no land traps to trigger this tireless, so hopefully that wasn't stupid, but... Ooh, they're getting close to Joda. Joda mana. Which is going to be a little worrisome for us, to say the least. Okay. Okay. So we'll put this in. Make a treasure. Let's put in Toski, because drawing cards sounds good right now, and we can draw one at least from the Tireless Provisioner. Boom. Okay. Okay. I gotta think about what I'm doing with that Joda, too, because I can put in that land. We could bounce stuff, like just one at least. I don't know if we want to do that, though. Oh, 
Yeah, this is stressful. Okay. We have Myrowin, which is very good for us. Uh, and we will attack here. It's going to bounce. But I think Myrowin might save us, honestly. Bounce. Okay. Yeah. As long as they don't have removal for Myrowin, I think it'll be okay. Knock on wood. Oh, she's legendary though. That hit a lot of our mana. That is just brutal. We almost had growing rates of Illamok ammo too. No blocks. Boom. Ouchies. Jota is not fun to go against. Um, let's do Leaf Crown. Let's get in you. Let's decline that so we can get in growing rates. And hope we live for another turn. Incubation Druid. And attack. Imagine they're going to block. Why give me a free card otherwise? Boom. There we go. And I might just throw my commander in front of Joda so that, again, trying to live another turn. Okay. They have all the protection, don't they? Good thing Sight Rift is not target. Seems good. Seems hecking good, friends. Ooh, Massacre. Meat Hook Massacre for zero. Very lucky. Be fire worse. Okay. Ragavan also seems good for them. Oop. Okay. Yeah, sorry, Gladriel. We appreciate you. We love you, but we need you to jump in front of that Joda train. The reason why I think it's a train. over a bus just because look at this train engine went choo choo okay next we're gonna attack in draw cards oh goodness okay Ooh, river's rebuke oh my goodness that was really lucky <laughs> this is gonna be so obnoxious <laughs> oh my god okay there's joda again i think we could probably Okay, this might be a bit of a risk, but I think I'm going to uh, hold on to the river's rebuke and let Joda still do the thing. Okay, we have heroic intervention, which is good. Mm, let's do spring bloom. We'll target or uh, use up the ammo mana from Marwin. Uh, we'll auto pay. Okay, hit another land drop. Always good. And let's sack the Seagate. And we'll get you and you back into play here. We'll put in the snow covered forest and think about life and stuff. Celeborn. Uh, decline. So I want to keep that growing rights up. Okay. And then we'll attack here. And I hope if they have any sort of board wipe stuff, it's something that heroic intervention will keep stuff protected with. Okay. And then I'm hoping. Oh, they did have that meat hook that I bounced back, huh? Hmm. Hmm. That's not gonna save my stuff, is it? Not bored. Okay. Sag. Dang, that's rough, buddy. Well, I think we can at least get a good hit in if we reverse rebuke. But yeah, it's really rough. They also had like massacre, meat hook massacre. Uh, no blocks. Taking the damage. And heroic intervention like protects from so little nowadays. 
<sighs> Draw. Okay. Resolve. Uh, reverse rebuke. And I think anything else that I potentially put in is just gonna die. But I think we need to try to grow Marwin. Pack. Uh, we don't need more mana right now. Boom, boom. Okay. Yeah, and then Elshnorn just goes back in. But we can try tapping down something and hopefully doing the last little bit of damage that we need to. Yeah. Okay. So if that's all they're putting in this turn, we just tap them. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay. Let's start with this to tap it. Ooh. Okay. It resolved. It resolved. Good game. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay. We're just going to attack. Oh my goodness. Uh, done. We like Crater Hoof on top there. Okay. Okay. Sorry for all those triggers. I was trying to just end it. <laughs> GG's. All right. Playing against Cure, the real Simic battle here. Um. Hmm. This could be okay. I'm not sure how I feel about it, honestly. I just like that we have a decent amount of ramp in our hand. Uh, let's try actually. We'll put that down. Keep those two, or no? Let's do it this way. There we go. Okay, decisions had to be made. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me, friends. Uh, and then I think we could probably do Sylvan Ranger. Yeah, let's do that. It will show up full stuff. But we'll make sure we get our other land drops here. We'll probably get a blue source. Yeah, because we do have both Seiju or the other green. Oh, I like I said blue and then I guess I clicked on a forest. I'm paying attention. Can you tell I haven't been playing much lately? I had like a whole week off basically and I'm like <laughs> trying to remember how to play. It's high, high skill level here. There we go. Which I guess in retrospect, like just taking a week off isn't much but it kind of feels like it when you're at least like recording stuff yeah no when you're used to playing it a lot more okay then this let's get our commander in unless they're gonna counter which i don't care okay i would rather them counter the commander and let's go hit them for two see it Okay. Not putting in creatures, I see. Let's put in the Dwayne, Dwayne's, Dwayne, the Rock, Dwayne the Rock Elite. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't want to ramp them actually, because I'm scared, because that's gonna get them closer to like creepy sea creature dudes. And that just seems bad, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll keep, keep all that. Hit for two, bonk, bonk. We'll be at one, two, three, four, five, five lands. So it's not perfect. We'll put a counter on you. And let's put this in. And let's go ahead and... Oh, ward three. Why I wasn't paying attention, was I? Uh, let's put this down. We'll shock it in. And let's put you in. And we'll just attack with this. Bonk. Okay. of the deep. That's very good. 
Nissa helping them out there. Mm hmm. We need one more mana drop? Math? Eight? Let's fight Kiora. Resolve. We'll pay. Auto pay. Boom. Okay. And then I'm going to put in Rex Sage. And blow up that. Okay. And then I think this still will draw two cards. So let's go ahead and attack that. Because I don't want them to get the Nissa old. And at the very least, we'll draw two cards. Then if we hit our land drop. Oh, we did. Oh, we did. Heck yeah, friends. So hopefully if they don't like Psych Rift us, we can drop a Crater Hoof and win. Please let us survive. Please let us have our board site. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm so scared they'll be able to counter. Ooh. Do you think they're going to be able to counter stuff? Okay. If they counter this crater hoof. Okay, they won't be able to. Ooh. I think we did it. I think we did it. Heck yeah. Okay. Boom. Attack. The face. Ooh, G heck and G's. I was really scared there. <laughs> Drift nod. So doubles up on death triggers. It's interesting to see them as a commander. Um, I'm gonna molly. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have. Okay, we'll keep this. Um, I think I'm gonna put all of Gilead or however you pronounce that back. Uh, we'll grab a force with this Fable Passage. Would have been nice to save it for getting Tireless Provisioner out, but I want to guarantee that we're going to hit that green source. And our three land drops needed to even cast a... Uh, I guess we would have. I was going to say cast the Tireless Provisioner for sure, but playing it safe, you know? Okay, put in this castle. We'll get Tireless in. And we'll probably do Boreal Outrider because I like that things come in with a counter because you use the snow mana for it. Oop. Feed this one. This is dead. Okay. I think the play is still to get Boreal in. And hope they survive and don't get destroyed for removal only kind of decks. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll take the damage here. And put in this forest. Put in the commander. Okay, with the snow minas. They come in with the counter. And I'm going to leave this negate up just in case there's like any removal that's going to target our board. Okay. So we will lose some life from that. Marauding Bright Blight Priest, but I think we're early game enough where it's not going to be too huge of a situation. That's going to be like a big problem. Okay, with one Snow Manaz. Okay. And I think I'm going to attack with our commander. And then we can bounce back if they like double block. Okay. So we'll block Marauding Light Priest, and then I'm going to put the Dire Fleet dude back to hand. And then kill the Marauding Light Priest so that they don't get that double up trigger on the life loss stuff. Full of Citadel. Would have been nice to have Negate up for that. Ooh! Grey Merchant. Okay. We are getting our butt kicked. Ah! Man, this is rough. Mm-hmm. I think I'll trade. Still give some card draw. 
that they have unicorn sleeves. I don't mind if I lose to them. Oof. Well, this is a deep subject. All right, we just drew mostly lands. Not a great feeling. Mm, I think we're dead. Oof. Yeah, we're hecka dead. Can't be sad. Because the Asker Worm kill. Can't be mad about that. <laughs> All right. Soul of Wind Grace. It's going to be a battle. Uh, we don't have a green source, so we can't keep. Mm -hmm. We do have Gala Greeters. Not my favorite to like, rely on for ramp, but... All right. Drop in Snow Covered Forest, put our buddy in, and hope we hit another land drop or we're kind of out of this game, I think. Because we need to get that advantage pretty early. Oh, thank goodness. That was really lucky. So I think we want Nissa and then we'll Spring Bloom. Try to get as much value as possible. We'll make a tap treasure token. Uh, no attack. What does this do again? Inclusive gets plus three, plus two as long as there are four or more creature cards in your graveyard. You can tap to add one mana of any color. There you go. Seems good. We don't have a way to deal with them right now, unfortunately. But hopefully Nissa can help us out here. I also wouldn't mind getting a chance to proliferate these counters. All right, so let's put in Spring Bloom. We'll get a tap treasure token. And let's sack this regular old forest. Get a regular forest to replace the one that, you know, got deforested. And then we'll make a floating, I don't know, blue. Green. Ooh, Beast Whisperer. Uh, let's get in Rishkar. And let's do, put a plus one counter on stuff. And let's put a counter here, counter here. And no attack. Okay. I will trade with that sort of sword. Soul of Wind Grace if they attack in. Because the value that they have is just absolutely wild. I guess they can gain indestructible, so maybe we just chump block with Spring Bloom until we can get Nissa a little tougher. I also have to be cognizant of a possible board wipe too. So they're not running Snowland, so maybe they don't have blood on the snow. I'm not really sure. They could have blood on the snow still. Maybe they just forgot to add the Snowlands. I do that all the time. Okay. They're thinking about how they're tapping. Makes me a little worried. Okay, they're shielded. Seems good, seems good. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we need a way to deal with that shielded for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to throw Spring Bloom in front still of Soul of Wind Grace because we'll still have a creature that we can try to flip the growing rights for. Ooh, okay. We actually found a solution to Shieldred, so we'll actually do that. Draw a card. Land card. Feels good. We'll make a floating green. And let's put in you. And create a tap treasure token. And then... Should I get greedy and put in growing rights, or do we leave negate mana up? Let's do growing rights. We're being greedy! Elrond. And pass. It flips. Sweet! Oh, we're not being greedy anymore, because it flipped, so we have the mana to counter stuff still, because I forgot this treasure token's untapped still. So, we have mana for days, 
not necessarily the most in the world to do with it. We thankfully dealt with Shieldred, so... Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, friend. So they can still make it indestructible, discarding a land card, and then they have to pay three with a swampy source for it, so... I never actually knew about the lore for Soul, or for Windgrace, specifically the Planeswalker. I mean, the fact that their soul is there apparently means that they, uh, they have passed from this world. Hey, we're about to do Beast Whisperer too. Same seas. I'm quad. Okay. Seems good, seems good. We do have lots of mana for days. Have I mentioned that, friends? So they're probably attacking in. We'll just take the five this time. Or I guess eight. Take the eight. And hopefully they don't hit into any like enchantment <laughs> removal anytime soon. Uh no blocks. Okay. Oh my Does this win us the game? Let's do this first. Tap treasure. Then drop crater hoop. Gain two life. Done. Vanessa. Attack. Oh my goodness. That was a nice top deck there. <laughs> Boom, down to one. Or I guess, minus one. Anyways, GG's. <laughs> Ooh, we're all. Okay, so stormy control deck that's probably gonna counter everything. Um, Am I being optimistic if I keep this? I feel like I am, but I wanna keep it. Potential for it's good, except for, I don't know when we're gonna cast that world tree. I guess if Morrowind resolves, it'll be good. I'm so scared though, because that's a big if. This is it usually is countering for days. Uh, we'll pass. I'm not gonna play this so we can get our token. Okay, they are tapped out. Man, I hope they don't kill Marwin. Please don't kill Marwin. I love Marwin. Please don't hurt them. Please don't. No, they hurt them. Bummer. Oh, never mind. To each opponent, not me. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, okay. Sweet. That actually makes me pretty happy. Boop. Sweet. And then we'll put in tribute. Ha ha ha. And then we'll have Wash Away to deal with their planeswalker, hopefully. And I hope Marwan can stay alive for a bit longer. That would be great. Please and thank you. Okay. Oof. So that fiery inscription might kill us first. That's pretty darn good for uh, spell slinging. For the old spell slinging, you know? Um, no blocks, I guess. I don't know if that's a mistake or not. We will put in, I think, Elvish. The visionary for having visions, I tell ya. Uh, this seems good too. And it's auto pay. Sweet. Whoop. Um, we have two floating. Let's put in the commander instead so we don't have to worry about losing our wash away mana. Sweet. Draw another card. Feels good. And we'll go ahead and attack. And at least Marowin should be out of burn down the house range, so hopefully Elf Ball is not going to get totally annihilated here. Knock on wood, though. Who knows? Is it's got tricks up their sleeves for days? Okay. 
The one ring seems good. It does give them protection from everything. So we can't really do much attack-wise this upcoming turn. Okay, so we got Reliquary Tower. Hmm. Can't tap them for anything, so let's put this in. See if we draw a card. Uh, yeah, why not? Not okay. Because again, they have protection from everything because of the ring. Drew a card. Uh, let's put in Roaring Earth because we can get more counters on stuff. And then use this. Sweet. And let's create a treasure token. Ooh, command tower. Uh, again, they have protection from everything. Yeah, so no attack. Again, hoping for the lack of port wipe, but at least Marwan will survive it for the most part. Unless they have like a river's rebuke, but then we'll at least get like our tribute to the world tree triggers and stuff again. So it shouldn't be the end of the world if that happens. Knock on wood. So they did burn down the house. Maybe I should have kept wash away stuff up, but um take action okay okay marwan's still in action so let's do command tower counter on marwan and maybe i should have held up that mana actually so i could have done a better seagate and they shouldn't be able to counter this either because they don't have any open blue mana Okay. And I don't know if I made the mistake too of not just attacking in because there is a chance that they can just combo off or hit me for a lot of burn spells, I guess. Okay, so we have Gala Greeters. And then we can do Arwen. Let's gain two life. And... Yeah. All right. Guess we don't have any blue mana, so that is a slight risk here. Okay. Okay. I wonder if they're looking for a board wipe. back in would be nice too. Oh, we didn't see what Raul does. It's lots of shenanigans. Um, does this make me, it just says you, oh, you and permanence. That's not target. It's just dealing it passively. Oh shoot, I should have done that. Oh, I messed up. I really messed up, friends. I wasn't paying attention. Let's do this. Um, we can still do Marwin. We'll gain two life. And then... I kind of feel like I should leave mana up for this wash away. Just in case, you know? So, if I do this, I won't leave mana up for that. Yeah, I could have totally done Veil of, the, of Summer, which is totally my bad. Uh, oh well. Stuff happens. Mistakes happen. They haven't put in Raul yet either. But this one ring will probably do the job if they don't, you know, find a way to deal with our board state. Uh, okay. I think that's fine. Okay, we can counter that. I don't think they have a way to cast it this turn anyways. Mm. Are they gonna have 13 permanents? I think not, because we can do Veil of Summer too. So I think that's fine. Oh well, well we still won, so GG's. 
All right, I hope you had fun because I know I sure as heck did. Gladrail was a really cool commander and I do have the pre-con that I wouldn't be, I don't know, opposed to trying out sometime maybe in a video or in a stream and just to see like what kind of shenanigans could be had there because it's hard to go around with elf ball, honestly. So as far as cards that I think deserve, you know, an MVP shout out, some new cards I think are, were really cool, at least with synergy with this deck, was uh, Hith Hithling Knots. Sorry, I cannot pronounce any of these cards ever. Uh, so the reason why I think it deserves like an MVP shout out here is because it literally helped me close out a game because I think that was the one that I used to like tap down Elshnorn and then bonk face, which I wasn't expecting this card to actually help me win a game, but it was nice to have that effect and drawing a card's always nice and the scrying synergizes with our commander pretty well. And then Celeborn the Wise, of course, really stood out because it helped, you know, again with the synergy of what we want to do and it just worked so well with our commander so that was really cool two cards that were not of the newer sets that i think probably people hate more than anything in commander are like cyclonic rift and crater hoof behemoth which honestly in commander doesn't make me too salty but here it's i don't know funny just to have it in my simic deck because crater hoof i think is just a great closeout for any sort of elf ball deck but yeah, that was kind of my shoutouts here overall. I'd love to know what you think of the deck. This was just really fun for me to play with and try out some of the new cards that I hadn't had a chance to see yet. And I think overall, this is like a decent elf ball kind of shell. So I hope it was interesting to at least watch. Yeah, but anyways, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging out till the end. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.